disappeared. We are here to support the mothers, the mothers of victims that are having to go to these cold houses to obtain the frozen bodies of their children. Children who have clear evidence of abuse on their bodies, extracted nails. Of course, there's also the rape, the rape of female and male detainees in prison. We are here to remember Karen and Musavi and Sayyid and Puravai, who were both raped by Basijis and whose bodies had acid thrown on them in order to hide the evidence. That's really why we're here. We're here to support this and to make sure that there's not another Nedo, there's not another Tarone. We are here to make sure there's no more human rights violations. It's very important for us to reflect this to the United Nations so that we prevent massacres from taking place, like we saw in 1988, the massacres, or right at the start of the 1979 revolution, when tens of thousands of people were executed. I have two messages here for those that are inside the United Nations. First of all, to Ahmed and Ajad, you are not our president. Yeah! Iran forced you out. Tell your puppeteer Ali Khamenei to pack his bags too. Perhaps Venezuela, China, or Russia will give you a temporary abode where you can hide until we collect all the crimes you've committed and bring you to justice in an international criminal court. Yeah. Secondly, I'm here to talk to the United Nations. It is your duty to uphold the principles yeah. of the United Nations. Yeah. The fundamental rights and freedoms and justice of everyone that lived on this planet. We urge the United Nations Human Rights Council for an emergency um, uh, an inquiry, a commission of inquiry to investigate crimes against humanity and the various human rights abuses pre and post election. And in order for the United Nations to hear us, what I'm going to ask of you on the count of three to shout as loud as you can so not only the UN hears but those inside Iran hear you too and you'll repeat freedom, freedom, freedom for Iran. We must be ready to do everything in our power to help those inside of Iran. The Iranian people have been paying the price for with, with their lives, so the least we can do here is to give them our support, whether that's morally, whether that's through resources or money, because ultimately we have to see ourselves as non-violent freedom soldiers, and in any army, you need this support. Yes. We must empower the civil society in Iran and isolate the hardliners at all costs. Yes. Yes. And if there was ever a time, that is now. We must use this momentum and not let it die. Yes. And support the people of Iran, and that is the only message we can give out. So freedom for Iran. I wish you all well, and thank you for supporting the Iranian people.